Hey guys, this is Jackson, and we're going to do something a little bit different today. Um, let me just show you my setup. This is my cabin. I'm staying in the woods at the moment, and this is this is made out of wood. <laughs> um, and here is my game dev setup just here. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I just like sit on the floor, and I've just been developing. Um, and that's the window out there, and it's about 7 a.m. today. And I'm in a nice secluded spot, sort of in the woods, um, which I think I already said already, but. Um, I've got a lot done lately, um, just this environment I think has been really good for me and it's given me a bit of time to reflect on, you know, the things that I'm doing and the way that I'm doing things and I've got a lot done and that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. Basically I did a fucking, I've done a heap of development lately and especially a lot yesterday and I was up really late last night doing it yesterday and today I just bounced out of bed um, and, you know, felt like doing more um, and so I just wanted to rattle off a quick list of things that... Um, have helped me recently or that tend to help me when I feel like um, I'm getting a little bit stuck with game development or I'm not I can't quite get the things done that I want to get done or whatever um, just a quick list and they're in order of importance approximately um, the most important ones at the top and as we get to the bottom there's some more like icing on the cake ones that um, if the top ones aren't addressed the ones at the bottom won't necessarily work as well as you would think <laughs> so it's the fundamental ones and then we're moving down the list to some other interesting ones um, but number one in the list so if you if you want to get more out of your game development days and you want to be more productive and focused and creative and all of that the first thing that I suggest and the first thing that always works for me is just a fucking rest <laughs> which is which is not what we want to hear because we have an association with rest that it's sort of like wasted time um, and what I've started to realize is that re if I just say it, rest is as important to any creative, productive thing as the actual work itself. It's not like it's a fucking, it's not the opposite. It's not like productivity is this way and rest is this way. And it's like whenever you rest, you're actually depriving yourself of productive energy. It's like completely the opposite. What's actually happening when you're resting is that you're creating like the you're, you're building up this energy which then explodes into productivity and it's like the more you fucking push into the direction of rest and you give yourself all the rest that you need with no ulterior motive the more that 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 giving then rebounds into productivity <laughs> And it's like, it's like a pendulum. It's like you wind up the pendulum one way and you rest as much as you possibly can and just fucking veg and like, you know, do things that you love to do and sleep and fucking play games or like whatever and to really unwind and to just give yourself the time to enjoy yourself. The more that you do that, the harder it swings back the other way and it, it works every single fucking time. Um, so that's the first point. Um, that came out in a really good way. I'm fucking stoked with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, next point so that's number one number two is to do I've written do what you love to do not what you think you should love to do <laughs> um, so I think something that I get stuck on when I'm doing a game is I get like a big list of things that you know I feel like I need to get done and then I can finish up with the project and move on to the next one and I think a much better way to approach your game. Well, I think I think you. Whenever you feel resistance to working on a project, I think it's because part like, part of your part of your body or your mind or whatever is it's it's telling you that it's not interested in what you're doing, um, and I think it's what your work is always a great effort when you're doing something that you know isn't right for your talents or something along those lines um, and basically if what I'm what I'm getting at is if that you want to get a lot of work out of your days and you want to be the most productive that you can be you've got to do the things that sound like fun to you and that are enjoyable to you and you can't be trying to convince yourself to do things that you feel like you should do because part of you knows better <laughs> and part part of you knows better than to than to show up and expend energy th on things 
that deep down you know aren't valuable to you, aren't valuable to anybody else, or just aren't valuable, period. And it's like when you feel those feelings of procrastination and resistance, it's it's literally because it's it's not an enemy to try and conquer. It's a it's a part of you to listen to that knows something about what you're trying to do that you're refusing to admit. <laughs> That's the situation. And so when this pops up for me, it's like I've got a big list of things and whenever I look at the list of things, I'm like, fuck, I don't want to do that. Fuck, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. And in the past, I've gone, well, okay, I've got to do it. How can I trick myself into fucking doing it? How can I make myself do it? Um, when actually the more effective approach is to just say, you know what, maybe I shouldn't do all of that. Which ones of these things can I just fuck off? And what would I like to do instead? What sounds like fun? What's appealing to me? What's interesting? What actually makes me excited to work? Um, what's going to bring out the best in me? What's going to make me want to show up? I think those are much more important questions. So that's number two. Rest and then um, do what you love to do, not what you think you should do. Or do what sounds fun or whatever something like that you can call it whatever you want now number three once those first two points are addressed this is this is a really important one but it, it only comes after the first two I think you need those first two in place and then the third one's valuable uh, begin weaving and then the thread will follow another way no uh, let's just leave it at that begin weaving and the thread will follow and basically what that means is you know, we've, we've got all these ideas about, you know, how tired we might be or like whether we're capable of doing something or if we're confident enough to do something and our estimations of what our abilities are. But the truth is we don't actually know until we try, right? And it's like we can think about what we need to do all day long and never actually get started um, because, you know, we're afraid that we're not going to be able to do it or afraid, like, fucking whatever. Um, and actually, if you just begin weaving, the thread's provided and what you'll find... And what I always find is I just I just start. I don't think about how much I've got to do or how hard it's going to be or how much I've got left or how long to go. It's like a, it's a it's the, another way of thinking of that metaphor is like you focus on the step in front of you, not the whole staircase. And it's just one step at a time, one step after the next. And you don't think about the staircase whatsoever. You don't think about if you've got enough thread to weave your fucking thing. You just you do the step and you just go. Um, and what always happens is the thread's provided. And what that looks like for game development is that you just start. You start with something simple. You're sitting there programming, you're coding. Um, and then all, all of a sudden, the next thing you know is like fucking four hours have passed and you've actually done quite a lot. And it was because you just sat down and got started rather than thinking about get started. And you didn't shoot yourself in the foot with all these doubts and whatever. That's a really fucking important one. Um, because, yeah, we're all, we're all more than what we think. We're all more, we're all capable of more than what we think. And sometimes you've just got to start to let that come out. Um, and once you start, it always starts to flow. So begin weaving and then the thread will be provided. So one, two, and that's number three. Now, number four, um, this is where we get into sort of like hacky shit. Those top three, I think are the most important ones. Um, Number four, I've got, it's just like so diet. Um, I drink a salt and lemon drink every morning, so I squeeze like half a lemon into a cup and put in some Himalayan salt, like a, a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of salt, I can't remember. So I just sort of pour it these days. Um, and I don't eat in the morning, um, so I just drink that and then I program. That's the thing that works best for me. Empty stomach, salt and lemon for electrolytes, and I just go. Um, and then when I do eat, I tend to eat light, so I don't eat a lot. Um, if I eat a lot, I send, I get foggy. Um, and I think something I've, I've realized actually since being out here is that we we eat a lot more than what we need. Um, and the solution to that isn't to try and force yourself to eat less. But I think like if you if you get these other points down and get yourself into a rhythm that works well for you, your diet starts to shift. Um, and I think when your diet starts to shift, you begin to think even more differently um, and you can focus for longer periods of times and things like that. So I think once you get those other three points into place, then you can worry, you can start to think about, you know, things like diet. Um, so I've just written here, I eat mostly mostly plants and a, and a red meat, like s fucking steak about every two or three days, maybe every three days. Um, just yesterday I was developing and you know, I did my morning and then I got really tired in the afternoon and 
I, I knew what this was because I get this feeling a lot. Um, it's very familiar to me and it's, it's iron deficiency or whatever the fuck. I think it's iron deficiency. And I had a steak and literally like an hour later I was, you know, fucking, I was revving again and I could focus again and I was clear again and I could concentrate. So I eat mostly plants, plant-based. Um, for lunch I usually, I have some salmon as well, some fish. I have like eggs, avocado, salmon, uh, maybe cook some mushrooms. And for breakfast I'll cook up some, uh, not cook up, but I'll have like bananas, blueberries, uh, chia seeds and hemp seeds and like oat milk. Um, and yeah, then for dinner at night, I'll have uh, like some sort of stew or like a vegetable soup or I'll have red meat. And that's the diet that works well for me. I don't eat bread um, or pasta or shit like that. Um, so yeah, diet. But that comes after the other ones, I think. Um, although diet is quite important. So maybe that's something to think about as well if you feel like it's really fucking you up. Uh, number five. Um, I've written meditation. Now this is an interesting one because, you know, it's it's. There's a lot of bullshit around the idea of meditation, and I think what a lot of people mean when they talk about meditation, or what a lot of people teach as meditation, isn't actually meditation. All meditation is, you don't have to sit in a fucking fancy posture, but I think it's nice to. You gotta sit comfortably so that you can forget your body, and all you do is just breathe. And you just focus on the feeling of your breath coming in and then the, the feeling of your breath going out. So, in, through your nose, and then out through your mouth. In. Feel it. And then out. So I just do that. Um, you know, I don't set a timer. I used to, I don't anymore. You know, I just make a little bit of space for that every day. Um, usually in the morning it goes quite well. And when you're breathing, by focusing on your the feeling of the breath coming in and coming out, it takes your mind off everything else that you're worried about. And when your mind is off everything else that you're worried about, it gets broken out of those fucking spirals where it's like you have a thought about a thing you're worried about it, whatever, um, and you, you play the same fucking loop like again and again and again and again and again about a problem, and you know, it's not particularly helpful. Um, and if you meditate, it breaks those thought processes and all of a sudden new thoughts can come up um, from a different place. That's what it feels like for me. Um, and it's very helpful when you're fucking programming, very helpful, because sometimes when you're stuck on a problem, it's because you're stuck in the way that you're thinking about the problem and what you need to do is to break away from that way that you're thinking and get into that space of no thought, no mind is what they call it in like Zen and shit and from that space of that like silence of focusing on your breathing, new thoughts come up and you can suddenly see the problem in a new way and it's not uncommon at all for you to be in the middle of a meditation session and like a couple of minutes in to just be struck with the fucking solution to the problem or to have like an image pop into your mind of exactly how it needs to look or exactly what you need to do or your perspective changes on the problem. Um, this is a huge one for me, honestly. Like my, my biggest breakthroughs always come through meditation. And like honestly, like I, for me, meditation is like almost up there as number one. Um, the top three that I mentioned are, are very fucking important and you know actually maybe they should be up on number one and then meditation is one that comes later because if you don't get the other ones right and you try to meditate to <laughs> be a good dev it's not going to work but once once you get the top three or four down and then you add meditation to that <laughs> that's what I feel anyway um, long walks are good as well so that's sort of like a moving meditation you just go on a walk you don't know where the fuck you're going and you know, you just let your mind wander, you look at things, sort of relax a little bit, and you'll find that breakthroughs will come through. And the walking as well, stimulating uh, stimulating blood flow, I guess. Um, you come back and you can think a lot clearer. And yeah, I go for a walk every morning. Um, it's just what I do, you know, for about an hour, or like between 30 minutes and an hour sometimes, it's about 30 minutes if I'm busy, um, every day. and. You know, I swear by it, absolutely swear by it, so something to think about. 
And the last one, number six, is one that I'm not going to talk too much about, and it's sort of a questionable one. Um, and yeah, um, is like supp supplementing. So <laughs> you know, you can take you can take like fucking. I guess this sort of falls under diet when you talk about like uh, superfood powders and shit like that. I take shit like that. Um, but in particular, modafinil is a good one, or modafinil. It's like a smart drug that I think is illegal to sell in Australia. I don't think it's illegal to take. Um, but it is not illegal to import, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but basically, this is this is sort of an interesting thing. It's, it's sort of like caffeine, but I think with caffeine... Um, Caffeine can be very good for development, but I think it leads to cycles where you do a lot and then you crash. Um, and I think it's sort of, for me anyway, it gives me sort of unpleasant feelings of like anxiety and stress and shit like that. Um, Motophenol, I've, I've had really good experiences with Motophenol, um, as long as it's used in moderation. I think that's the, that's a very important thing to, to point out. Um, it's basically a smart drug that you take it, it lasts for, it takes about, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour to kick in, and then basically for the next, like, 8 to 12 hours is what it feels like for me, is that you're just in the fucking zone, um, and you can get a lot done, and it's like your focus, you can focus, and your focus just doesn't wear down, um, which is, it's honestly an incredible feeling, but I put, I put this very last, because if all those other things aren't addressed, Motophenol is like a, a fucking band-aid on a broken arm sort of thing. And <laughs> and it's, it's not going to work, at least not in the long term. It might feel like it works in the short term to get a lot of shit done, but um, you'll be burning yourself out. Um, and that's something that you've got to watch with Motophenol, is that it's, if it's not matched with adequate rest and good diet and things like that, um, it will just drain you, it'll leave you stressed and just destroy your body the day after like a hectic... A hectic development day um, and there's also this yeah there's laws around where you can get this in some places you need a prescription for it it's like a narcoleptic thing um, but you can import it in some cases from medafinil vendors online and you pay in crypto um, but you know all of this is purely speculative and for education and entertainment purposes um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's something to think about but yeah mod modafinil so if I just run through this list just to summarize briefly um, number one is rest because it rebounds like a pendulum um, and it's not it's not a compromise you're not losing time by resting number two is do what you love to do not what you think you ought to do and do what what sounds like fun that's a question that you should ask yourself what sounds like fun what makes me want to be involved in game development but that comes after rest because sometimes nothing's fun because sometimes you just need to rest um three begin weaving and the web and the thread will be provided begin weaving and the thread will be provided begin weaving just start and you'll surprise yourself because there's more to you than you think right uh diet salt and lemon drinks um mostly plant-based and some red meat for iron uh meditation you know, focusing on your breathing, taking time out to disconnect from everything, to focus on your breath, let go of all of the stupid thoughts that you're thinking about, and just be at peace. And from that space, new thoughts arise, new ideas arise, and problems are solved. And last, not least, but definitely last, <laughs> is a uh, modafinil. Just as something to experiment with. This is not a lifestyle, this one. This is, um, you build up a tolerance to it if you use it a lot, so it starts to lose its effect anyway. But it's non-addictive, um, but you you don't use it every day. What I use it for is like, I'll take like a quarter of a mod modafinil pill um, in a day, or maybe a third, some between a quarter and a third, but it's awkward to break them into thirds. Um, and... Yeah, maybe I'll do that for a couple days in a row, and then I'll take, you know, four days off. So it's like, might be two days on, five days off, or day on, day off, day on, day off, day on, day off. 
you want to cycle it you can't use it every day um, but yeah it's an interesting one to experiment with so those are the points um, this video is a little bit different um, no game dev in this one but you know this is all much that's stuff that's very much related to game dev everything that I mentioned obviously it's all related to game dev this is what I do to get the most out of game dev and to get the most out of myself and to, to develop in a way that I feel most effective and that I'm most able to do the things that I want to do, create the things that I want to create and be as effective as I possibly can. Um, so these are the things that help me. And I would like to hear if they help you as well, so please comment on this. Um, it's interesting to hear what works for other people. And, you know, maybe we can share some shit that'll help each other. Because we're better, t we're better together. We're better together. So, let me know what you think of this type of video as well. And I guess I might see you back with some more. But until then, um, happy developing. Peace out.